Because David Gant had taken over a ton of cash, the FBI knew he would need a considerable amount of space to transport and store all the money. They checked the rental car and truck agencies in town to see if anyone fitting Gant's description might have rented a truck. They came up empty. To the agents in the Charlotte office of the FBI, this investigation began to seem very familiar. In 1997, in Jacksonville, Florida, another Loomis Fargo employee emptied a vault of over $18 million in cash. Special agent in charge William Perry worked the previous investigation. There was an earlier uh, uh, theft from a, uh, a facility in Jacksonville at the uh, Charlotte division of the FBI had been involved in. As a matter of fact, recovered the money up in the Asheville area. Uh, so we were, we were very concerned about the fact that something similar had happened and it would be important for us to find out the location quickly of where the money had been transported to and uh, where the van was. In that particular case in Jacksonville, it had, they had used a storage facility. So it was an idea too that we would be looking for a storage facility similar to that. In the Jacksonville, Florida heist, the thief stashed the money in North Carolina. Thinking Gant may have copied his fellow employee, FBI agents checked public storage facilities. They found nothing. The FBI hit a dead end. It appeared David Gant had simply vanished and taken a ton of cash with him. The FBI looked back to try and uncover any suspicious activity in and out of the city on the weekend of the heist. This was difficult because Charlotte hosted the Coca-Cola 600 NASCAR race at the Charlotte Motor Speedway on the weekend the heist occurred. Well, now all of a sudden, you've got hundreds of thousands of out-of-town people, not all of whom use their actual identification when they're renting cars or staying at hotels. And you have to go through this list and decide who's legitimate and has a reason to be there and who might be David Scott Gant's alias or one of his partners. 